This is a quality only the really big players have. What do you think about Palmer's performances so far? Do you agree that he could be a future Ballon d'Or winner? Transfer rumors. Who's coming and who's going? It wouldn't be a Chelsea update without some transfer gossip, would it? According to Spanish outlet Sport, Barcelona might be eyeing up our midfielders Romeo Lavia and Carney Chukwamika for a January move. However, Football Insider reports that we're not willing to entertain any offers for Christopher Nkunku, despite interest from Paris Saint-Germain. On the incoming side, iSport suggests that we're among several clubs, including Manchester City, Arsenal, and Tottenham, keeping tabs on Shakhtar Donetsk's Ukrainian midfielder Georgi Sudakov. There's also news from German publication Bild that we've sent scouts to watch Borussia Dortmund's young English winger Jamie Gittens. It seems we're always on the lookout for fresh talent. But here's a bit of news that might worry some fans. According to reports, Rhys James' representatives are exploring the possibility of a move to Barcelona or Benfica. Let's hope this is just a rumor. Which of these transfer rumors excites you the most? And how would you feel if Rhys James were to leave? Weak captain, a dream return. On a lighter note, let's talk about a heartwarming story. Our young midfielder weak captain is set for an emotional return to her former club, FC20, in the UEFA Women's Champions League. Captain, who joined us from 20 last summer before being loaned back for a season, is excited about the prospect. She told the club website, I jumped off the couch. It's a dream to play in the stadium again, but with my new club. I love 20. They are in my heart, so of course it will be difficult to play against them but it's going to be good. The 19-year-old has a special connection with 20, having made her debut for them in the Champions League at just 15 years old. She credits the club for helping her develop into the player she is today. Stories like this remind us of the human side of football. How do you feel about Captain's return to her old club? Nike kit controversy. Now, let's talk about something that's been causing a bit of a stir, our relationship with Nike. According to City AM's Matt Hughes, Nike isn't too happy with us at the moment. The issue. We haven't had a front-of-shirt sponsor for two seasons now. Nike believes this might be affecting shirt sales, as some fans might be waiting for a sponsor to be announced before buying the kit. What's more, our asking price for sponsorship rights has reportedly dropped from £60 million to £30 million because we've already missed two months of the season. This could have serious implications for our finances, especially when it comes to complying with the Premier League's Profit and Sustainability Rules, PSR. Every bit of commercial income is crucial, and losing out on £30 million or more is a big deal. What are your thoughts on this situation? Do you think the lack of a shirt sponsor affects our image or performance? Romelu Lukaku's dig at Chelsea. Lastly, let's address the elephant in the room, Romelu Lukaku's recent comments about his time at Chelsea. In an interview on the Friend of Sports podcast, Lukaku didn't hold back in criticizing the club, the fans, and those who criticized him in England. Lukaku felt that people in England tried to put him in a box, comparing him to Didier Drogba when their styles are quite different. He said, in England, they wanted to put me in a box. They see someone built like me and think he's the new Drogba, and because Didier did what he did they think I have to do the same. I'm not like that. He also expressed frustration with the narratives surrounding him in England, saying, the narratives when I was in England was, he's lazy, he doesn't work hard, he's not a leader, he's selfish, first, he cannot hold a ball, blah blah blah. While we can understand Lukaku's frustrations, it's worth remembering that his infamous interview midway through the season, expressing his desire to return to Inter Milan, didn't exactly endear him to Chelsea fans. What's your take on Lukaku's comments? Do you think he has a point, or is he just making excuses? Wrapping up. Phew. That's a lot of news to take in, isn't it? From injury updates and match previews to transfer rumors and off-field drama, there's never a dull moment at Chelsea. As we look ahead to our match against Liverpool, let's keep our spirits high and our support strong. Despite the challenges, we've got a talented squad and a rising star in Cole Palmer. Who knows? We might just come away from Anfield with three points. What are you most excited about in the coming weeks? The Liverpool match. Seeing more of Cole Palmer? Or maybe the potential of some new signings in January? Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to Chelsea Shed End for more Chelsea updates. Until next time, keep the blue flag flying high.